Hi, uh, this is Instant Grat. Uh, this is R This is Robot Laser. And this is R.J. Waters. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Some brave adventurers you two are. Back already and without clearing my block eco harvesters. They're on the far side of the beach, boys. Now, get moving. Yeah, we screwed around long enough. <laughs> I'm gonna fly all the way to the beach. Hold I'll get it right on it, Samus. <laughs> That's incredible. Uh, that, that was productive, I think. Oh, hello again. Did you boys find that blue egg on the cliff? Push it off the edge, and I'll give you a power cell. It's not high on the priority list. Yeah. At least they seem to have, like, dimensions greater than 10 pixels by 10 pixels now. It's just an evolution. Uh, so it's Sentinel Beach. It's the it's the greatest level. This is the level that you're probably gonna go to first if you're just playing this game casually. Mm hmm I like this enemy. He like tips his hat to you. What a gentleman! It's like good morning. You can only hit him when his hat's up. So what are we doing again? Some of the orbs. Yeah, we're gonna collect them all. This is a oh, okay. Never mind him. It's the sand deal. They go down like chumps. They look that way. They, they look a bit more intimidating than they actually are. Mm. They, they look like a, a Final Fantasy mini-boss, but you just punch them. There must be something around here that can bust these open. I, I think I played that Final Fantasy. <laughs> Someone's trying to shoot us, but he's not doing a very good job. Mm -hmm. Maybe he should shorten the fuses on his bombs a bit, so that, so that we don't have several seconds from, the, from when they land. To when they explode. I was gonna say something about leading your target, but he's kind of shooting at you when you're perfect, perfectly still. So yeah, I'm not sure what's in those sacks, but it looks way too squishy to be an explosive. Oh no! Hey, I've played Metal Gear Solid 3, and if I know anything, then explosives can be basically clay. It looks like like soggy laundry is in that bag. Well, you know, depending on where they got it, those those things can can be quite dangerous. Let me tell you about my laundry bin. <laughs> you know what? I don't know. I've been in like high school locker rooms. I would not want some of those things flung at me at high speeds. <laughs> you know, I think now, the more that I think about it, this guy might be onto something. Certainly, <laughs> certainly, certainly beats having to actually do the laundry. <laughs> yeah, it's just blowing up. I don't do laundry, I just detonate all of my clothing and buy new ones every now and then. <laughs> You're not swimming efficiently enough, I thought you were a speedrunner. Retired speedrunner. This smug penguin. Look at his jacket. He's not a penguin, it's a pelican. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> penguin, pelican, they're basically the same thing, that's right? That's a fucked up penguin. <laughs> they're, both they're both found in... Uh, Asia, right? He's got a hell of a gag reflex, I'll tell you that. Oh, he... and that's not fair, there's no way I can get there in time, because that motherfucker can just fly over the ocean, and I have to swim very slowly. It's unfair that birds can fly. Well, you know, he's giving you a sporting chance. And I gotta collect all these uh, precursor orbs on the way here. You yeah. absolutely have to do that, you can't do that after you've gotten it's the power It's a physical zone. impossibility. See, look, he's already taken it and flown away. <sighs> what a dick. It's a wild goose chase. That makes me want to kick a puppy. Man, who even made this game? They're total hacks. Oh man, look at this boss rush. I have to fight all the two eels to get this power cell. This is some Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3 shit. Ooh. I've been mentioning Final Fantasy a lot, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, Jack and Dexter is my Final Fantasy. Yeah, let's just ditch this and watch Final Fantasy LP instead. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> I love Final Fantasy video Let's Plays. They are my favorite thing. Have you heard of Porklift and Watiat and Final <laughs> Fantasy XIII? Ah, uh, plug. Uh, I like all of the enemies in this game because uh, you can see on the on the shell creatures around their shell they have this uh, a steel band. It makes them like their property of the lurkers. Like they were all taken over as their pets or their slaves. And that's how you can tell that it's okay to kill them. Oh. Well, that's certainly some nice, convenient 
moralizing. Convenient morality markers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all those uh, blue uh, eco vents wouldn't have been open if we didn't unlock the ones in the Forbidden Jungle first. So that's why we came here second. Oh, I didn't know. I, I, I didn't know you could land on those. Yep, that's one of like three ways we can break open the uh, the, the strong crates. So, so if you forgot to blow open those uh, crates before you killed this guy, <laughs> then you can just take control of the cannon yourself and do it that way. Oh. Yeah, if you oh. want to save time. Yeah, that sounds like it would have been more efficient. Why didn't you just do that? <laughs> yeah, if you want to make an interesting LP. Because I, because I don't do that anymore. I'm retired. Check out this. Check out that dog over there in the distance. It's invulnerable to explosives. That's a hardcore dog. That's a that's a well-known fact about dogs. They're they're immune to explosives. Didn't you know that? Mm-hmm. Didn't you see World War II? Kids, why don't you try that at home? Oh yeah. There's another animal though that isn't quite immune to explosives. Yeah, it's from the the uh, South Antarctica. <laughs> South Antarctica. <laughs> that's the one. Yeah, you can just blow up the pelican. And that's why I intentionally did a poor job chasing it. Yeah! You clever I bastard. Believe you. Check it out, here's the secret. That's where all the power cells are located. But we can't climb in there. Well, yeah, the bars are too small. <laughs> Clearly. The bars are too small to get by them, right? Also, diving for uh, precursor orbs is for chumps. What are you gonna do instead? Oh, right, right. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that, Daxter. See, this is why I said Daxter is useless. Swimming for orbs or any reason is actually just for chumps, because we can use these launch pads to get everywhere. Why haven't you turned Daxter off yet, by the way? I was, I was, <laughs> I was, I was, I was curious about that. I mean, I'm sure it must just have been like an oversight on your part. <laughs> you can't turn Daxter off without turning everything else off. And some people have things to say. We can say them for them, that's what... Oh. <laughs> I I suppose if there was a power cell on the beach to give a trophy for, that would be it. <laughs> uh, I'm outsourcing all of my LP commentary to uh, the characters in the game and Instant Grad. Hold on a minute. Are you being a chump right now? Oh no! <laughs> my hubris! <laughs> Secret is out. Is out. He's a, you're actually a nerd. Oh no, you got me. Who would have thunk it? Mm hmm. These are some tricky orbs here. I'm. Not if you've ever played a video game ever. <laughs> it's hard to see them even when you're up in. all up in there. I'm pretty sure that I missed those, like, not just in my LP, but in every single playthrough I've ever done of this game. Well, then that just means you're bad at video games. Well, hey, at least I'm not a chump. This is why I turned Daxter on, by the way. Punch those poles up from below. If you didn't have him on, you'd never know these moves existed. I found that out by myself. Sure you can? The, the crouch punch and then the punch jump for two uppercuts. But you never actually have to push those poles up, even to get 100%. So you never have to do that move anywhere else in this game. You can still do it, but I... That, that's so, uh... That's so true to real life. I try doing a spinny uppercut punch in real life a lot, and it never accomplishes anything. <laughs> uh, these seagulls, it's a really great uh, little touch that Naughty Dog put in. They appear 24-7, day or night. Yeah. So you can never miss this orb no matter what time you come to the beach. Yeah, I They're hard-working seagulls. I don't know what kind of fool you'd have to be to think otherwise. Yeah, right. I mean, no one could ever could ever conceivably think spread misinformation any anyone who ever purported that these seagulls might be tied to a specific point in the day night cycle of this video game is just a, it's just a fucking idiot he out chumps my my uh, previous chump them by far mm -hmm. also if you didn't have daxter on you you wouldn't know to chase these seagulls because he there's no there's no cue they just you'd think oh it's the scenery moving away from me but there's actually a good reason to do it because it makes me feel better about myself. That's, that is a good thing. Even when Daxter says it, it just sounds like it's just him being an asshole. <laughs> it doesn't really seem... Can't it be both? It doesn't seem like it's a thing that actually has gameplay consequences. I'm just saying. <laughs> being an asshole is its own reward. <laughs> Obviously. That's my motto. 
See you, look. So the moral of the story is be an asshole to animals. <laughs> I think just be an asshole in general. Yeah, be an asshole, you'll cause destruction to the land, and then uh, you'll get you'll get paid. Uh, first you be an asshole, then you blow up the world, then you get money. Scare seagulls, get get money. Mm -hmm. isn't, isn't that how the, the, the famous hip-hop rap song goes? <laughs> uh, pretty sure, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't... I'm not. I must admit, I'm not. I'm not big into the raps, but I do know a thing or two. I'm. You know, I'm down. No, with, I'm. With I'm big into kids. all the raps, and I can guarantee that. Yes, that's accurate. That was a rap by uh, the Alka Seltzer Brothers. Yeah. See, we didn't need to punch that pole up at all. We can just high jump from that ledge. Yeah, but that's no fun. Mhm. Mm we could use this pole to get up on there, but again, we've got the blue eco vent and a jump pad. Well, that's pretty fun. I got it. These are some pro speedrun strats here. Are you sure mm. you're not secretly? Yeah! <laughs> yes, I am sure, that's what I mean. If you want to see just how speedrunning uh, accomplished I am, check out all these sweet moves. Oh, wow. Ooh. And listen very listen very carefully to the sound effect uh, the uh, inflation makes. Oh, that's satisfying. That, uh, that lead, that getting stuck on that ledge for a second, that was just a. Uh clever skip, right? <laughs> if you don't break this open with a long jump, you are a scrub. It's actually, um, I'm actually, fun fact, I am terrified of balloons, so that noise is making me incredibly <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> and, Dax and Daxter's uh, reacting to your commentary there. He's intimidating you. <laughs> Fuck you, <laughs> furry asshole. <laughs> yeah, it tells you, the guy's not, he's, he's bad news. But you have so much to do, I won't waste your time. By the way, if things don't work out, Daxter could always get a job controlling the village rat problem. See, I like Samos. He's got <laughs> he, he's got his shit in order. He knows what he's talking about. Yeah, Daxter was just running around screaming, uh, scaring all the rats away. Seems appropriate enough. Scare the seagulls towards the rats. He's so he's like middle managing the <laughs> rat problem. Mm. He's like the guy who comes in and he's like, hey, he's like comes into the office with a cup of coffee and goes like, hey, so how's everyone doing? You're all working hard on your thing? You got that thing working yet? All right, buddy. TPS reports, new, new covers. That looks fine. Was this lady just waiting like 24 7 for Jack to come up here? Apparently. Can you push the egg the other way? <laughs> the truth is, she's not waiting at all. <gasps> she's a figment of my imagination. Jack's on some whack shit. It's Fight Club. Fight with an egg club. Actually, we can be an asshole to this egg too. I got kicked out of my school's Fight with an Egg Club. <laughs> Again, I'd like to remind you that she she is there because she wants to, us to save the egg. She wants us yeah. to push the egg off the cliff to save the bird inside. That's her plan. Oh my! I hope the poor deer's okay. Here's a power cell for your valor. No, no! No, 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 no! Look, isn't that... Cute. It thinks you're its mama. Ah, I'm not your mom. You see any feathers here? Oh, love at first sight. Oh. Listen, boys, I'll take this little chick back to the village with me and work with the sage to take care of her. It's a chocobo. It's a, and it's a blue one too. So it can like, isn't that isn't that the kind that can like swim in the water? I remember distinctly. Another another count to the Final Fantasy tally. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it! Damn! <laughs> shit! Ass! Uh, she piled all this hay down here to catch the egg. <laughs> wow! That's like that... the most half-assed job I've seen. There's more grass than hay already growing there. <laughs> that sure is a dedication to the sanctity of it of all life. Mm. Also, it doesn't actually show up in Samos's hut or her hut. The flat flat is just gone. Yeah. Well. I don't want to know. Uh, listen, I don't want to know what she did to it. That's none of my concern. I did the job. Now I'm out of here. I would have just assumed that it ditched. I mean, would you want to hang around these people? Oh, I wanted to show off this 
uh, at night or day. Look at Dexter's knobbly knees in the water. That's a great <laughs> animation. <laughs> I never knew that. Hey! I'm so glad we have this HD remake to show us these mm -hmm. hidden features that we never realized. Wiping off my face. <laughs> oh, yay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I just put that in there because I, I missed that orb. What of it? That was great. The blue, blue ego, ego didn't pick you're, it up. You're, per you're perfect, RJ. The blue ego didn't pick it up. I planned it out to the T. Okay? The T? <laughs> what does the T have to do with anything? Oh. Well, he, uh, he, he's not in this, is he? Yeah, top of the tea time, yeah. T-top down, yeah, okay.